Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this update video for Robocraft on the 5th of June. Uh, this is quite a weird update, honestly. It's one which uh, many people, at least people not with um, direct contact to the devs, did not see coming. This is a new chassis cube, and it's the main thing which has been added or changed in this update. Um, the patch notes are not currently out, so some of the update changes I will have to discuss in less detail, but... Yes, these are the new items. These are the aero rods. Now, I'm just building with them now, just a bit of fun. And what aero rods are, are non-functional chassis cubes, as you can see here in the chassis section. Which give a moderate am amount of health to their tier, not exactly amazing. It's, they're, they're actually worth less than two blocks of their respective tier. They go from tier 5 all the way to tier 10, but are also remarkably light for their size. They're not light full stop, they're definitely light for their size. As you can see, this um, tier 10 rod here is only a mass of 3.0 kilograms, which is bizarre considering that the tier 10 blocks are 15 kilograms, meaning these are exceedingly light. So obviously the use of these would be uh, for extremely light but large robots. So, you could, so it kind of promotes that it kind of promotes very um, spacious builds with still a light overtone. Also, it gives a very interesting um, form of connection points. They seem to really be loving their uh, their building at the moment over at um, Free Jam HQ. And I personally really, really do like the look of these. Some actual metal in um, Robocraft confirmed metal in the game. That's just bizarre and weird. So as you can see, they're all of um, they're all of the exact same size. Tier 10 are the same size as Tier 9 are the same size as Tier 5. They're all the exact same size. And they do weigh differently, but only by very small amounts. Let's have a quick look-see, uh, just to prove the whole size thing. There's a Tier 10, there's a Tier 5. As you can see, the exact same size. So in Tier 10, one of these short rods will give you 1,600 armor. Sorry, health. And a Tier 10 armor cube gives you... Let's have a quick look, see if I'm not blind. 1,100. So as you can see, it's actually less than two of them. The longer variants give obviously more health proportional to their size. So it's kind of weird. Honestly, it, I like them personally, but they are very weird. So the second thing which is apparent, which I do need to discuss, is that Robo ranking for certain items has been changed yet again. Multiple of my robots have been swapped around. Now, I can't confirm exactly what has been changed. By the time this video goes out, there will most likely be a link in the description to link you to the patch notes. However, of the making of this video, they are not yet um, there. I, I, I did wait for an hour-ish before making this video to if they would appear, but Free Jam has had a history of being quite light with the patch notes up to one full day, and I kind of wanted to get this video out. So yeah, there, there are, are the major changes. To my knowledge, there's nothing new other than if you want to support charity and you want to support Free Jam, I actually I just want to support charity full stop, there is a new charity flag, the Able Gamers Charity Hollow Flag. So if you're of the of the kind disposition, I want to um be kind to those less fortunate than yourselves, then there we are. By purchasing this item, a minimum of 80 cents will be donated to Able Gamers, which of course is, um, it's not, I don't think it's directly proportional to the Galaxy Cash, so perhaps they are indeed getting a little bit of the cut there, but of course it is their game, and giving anything to charity is giving so much to charity, so that's nice indeed. I can't see anything new in the, um, in the tech tree. And the garage element of selling your robot to be rented has not yet been added. For more information on that, go to the Robocraft, the Robocraft game website if you are not aware of the um, future patches which are coming with that. Of course, they are future patches and nothing really to concern yourself about until then. So, yeah, low armor, um, large spaces of um, space. I think it's going to be interesting. I do want to test one thing, however. Uh, currently, my... Um, my Megabot is essentially deconstructed, but I do want to see if you are allowed to build these on a Megabot. Oh, you are. Okay, well that's actually very interesting. You can actually use these on Megabots confirmed. So that, I do, because of course it's a chassis block, that's why. Oh, now that is going to be interesting, so, so that is really it for now. If there is anything else which comes out, 
uh, bit after this video is um, edited and rendered, then I will make sure to put it in the description. Um, so there's no need to yell at me if I miss something. Again, the patch notes are not out yet. I have been waiting patiently. However, that's just as it is. So thank you for watching, Sir and Sheds. I hope this has provided some some use in terms of the new items, and I am look for I am looking forward to seeing what people make with them. And please be careful with your robots with the robot ranking changes. I'm not sure exactly what's changed, but several of my lower tier ones have suffered from this. My um my tier three here, my my tier three robot here was actually tier two, and look how far it is into tier three now. So obviously it's either the gun, it could be anything. Guns, chassis, or wheels have changed. So please be careful with that. Um, several other of my robots have changed as well, so I can't really. I can't really figure out exactly what it is which has changed them, but I can think of at least three or four robots that have actually undergone the change. So, thank you for watching, Sir Interest. Have a lovely day, do take care, and until next time, goodbye. Sorry about the fulsome outro there, Sir and Sirettes. Here is another outro. I did forget to mention one thing, and that is, of course, the cost of the new rods. They are, uh, For the short rods and the um, bends, they cost four times the regular cubes, and then the long rods cost a little bit more, well, I'll say a fair bit more, um, relative to their increased size. In fact, I think it's just two more, so it costs the same as six regular blocks in fact so there we are that least holds true to the lower tiers i haven't did the math with the higher tiers so that's that and of course they are available for from galaxy cash if that is your pleasure so there we go and once again the outro likes favorites all that good stuff thank you for watching and i hope i helped